window view on the open sea. The day after the start, the first images transmitted by the competitors are coming in. Hello everyone, first morning of the Vendée Globe on board Initiative Coeur. Thomas Rion is right behind. We had a quite turbulent night, 10 minutes of sleep twice, and we're now at the tip of Spain, Cape Finisterre and Cape Ortegala, just here. Several boats are in sight. It's great. Talk later. Contact regatta between Tanguy de la Motte and Thomas Rouillon, the Dunkirk chap. Well into his race, but still under yesterday's pang of emotion. Well, as planned, there's a little pull in with Tanguy. Stay on top. What a day. Wow. I had heard about the channels way up, but I still have a lump in my throat. I still have this slump. It was so intense. It was really something. After 30 hours of race, the 29 opponents are still in the run, even if only 28 are at sea. Because of water leaks having damaged the boat's electric system, the Spaniard Didac Costa had to come back to Les Sables de Lorme. He hopes to get on soon. For him, all is well. Vincent Rioux was seen off the coast of Corogne, en route Cap Finisterre towards the west tip of Spain. At 6 p.m., he's in fourth position behind a trio of foilers made up of Armel Lecléage, Alex Thompson, and Jean-Pierre Dic. The three are within a 10 miles knot. The last word for today is for Atanasio, who sums up the situation very well. Say well, we're off. See you all in three months. Three months. Holy cow.